Is Zelda Tears of the Kingdom basically Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts 2? Hear me out! In the latest trailer, we see Link driving a car, floating a hot air balloon, and flying a hovercraft thing. Which at first just seems like an evolution of the motorcycle you could ride in Breath of the Wild's DLC. But, if we look close, you can see that all the key components are actually held together by a green sticky goop. Furthermore, we can see that Link actually fished out one of the wheels that was later affixed to his car. So what this means is that you can probably build your very own custom vehicles using the parts that you found and cobbled together. Parts like propellers, headlights, wheels, and a power source. Oh, and don't forget the steering wheel too! Heck, we can even see that Link appears to be given what might be a tow cable for a vehicle at some point. And it's extremely likely that your vehicle's handling, performance, and abilities are a direct result of the parts that you selected and how you put them together. Just like in Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Who knew that 2008 game was so far ahead of its time? And that's why we're wondering,